which day were yours? All right, you guys. I am done reading. It's now noon. Uh, I'm still gonna eat me a bowl of cereal. I've got out of bed. Got out of bed a little bit late today. But that's all right. Got a little late start. Hopefully, it's not a school week for us. So. These are my current favorite cereal. Oh, they're so good. Kind of excited for lunch because we have leftover nachos. Gonna eat this cereal. Um, I do gotta start working. Also, I need to do my read and write the word for next month. I need to start getting those scriptures together so I'm not doing it last minute. So, I'll see you guys later around the time we eat lunch. Hey guys, um, Today flew by. I took a nap. Well, dozed off. I wouldn't say I was like in deep sleep. Been in pain. I never watched that as a kid. It's a, it's a commercial. Oh. Do y'all know anything about Scruff McGruff? <laughs> Anyways, so for lunch we had the leftover nachos. I have been editing again, and then a video did go up today. So make sure you are subscribed because I've been doing a pretty good job uploading on both TikTok and YouTube. Babe, can you take those out, please? Um, but we just we just got some dinner. Ordered ticket shot. So we got, they had a really good deal on Uber Eats. So everything, just about everything we got was buy one, get one free or just free. So for instance, these French fries were free with any $20 purchase. Um, Brian got two entrees because they were buy one, get one free. All I wanted was some samosas. They were buy one order, get one free. And then the garlic naan, we had to pay full price for, but we got it. So... About to eat and just chill, but I do just want to go ahead and come on here and update you guys. I don't know if I'll remember to get back on here before tonight. Um, just because when I'm working, like I'm working, like trying to edit and get things done, and then when Brian's home, I just be trying to chill with him because usually he's always at work or like then it's like soccer practice and it's not really just downtime for us a lot of the time. So. That's what we've been doing today is chilling, listening to Stephanie Sue um, podcast on Apple Podcast. Y'all know where y'all can find podcasts. Most of y'all probably know who Stephanie Sue is. But yeah, that's what we've just been doing. That's what we're going to continue to do as we eat our dinner. So yeah, I just wanted to update you guys and I'll see you guys later. Good morning, everyone. I have not vlogged since I think Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday. Today is Thursday. I just got, well, I just finished unloading all the groceries from the grocery store and taking them out the bag. I did a pickup order this week. Um, I just was not comfortable getting $300 worth of groceries delivered because then I would feel obligated to tip really high. And if we're trying to save money, we don't need to be making extra expenses by tipping. So just place an order for pickup and I'll go ahead and do, give you guys a quick overview of what I got. And then I need to film my TikTok haul and then we need to hurry because we need to be done by 10 25 and it's currently 9 50 so i have 30 minutes to do this so we're gonna get it done and that includes me putting up the groceries so i wish i could put myself in time lapse mode <laughs> but let's go ahead and do this grocery haul all right so starting over here we got these body armors for brian the fruit punch and the peach mango 
These were on sale for $5.98, so I went with the big bottles because Brian's really the only one who drinks them, so there's no reason for me to buy a case of 24 to last us the same amount of time because they're smaller bottles, so save some money there. Got a few boxes of Hamburger Helper for those soccer practice nights. Um, I got two boxes of the Cinnamon French Toast Sticks. Oh, there's like... Okay, yeah. So, obviously, you can see we really, really enjoyed these from the last time we picked them up at Walmart. Also got two boxes of the original French Toast Sticks. Um, we had to restock on snacks this week, so our grocery budget was a little bit over by, by about, like, 60 bucks, but that's okay. We got Ritz crackers, cheese, cheese crackers. The boys love those. Got some apple sauces. Got some fruit and grain bar for breakfast on the go, which is probably what we're going to do today. They'll probably have... One to two of these, oh my gosh, come on camera. One to two of these fruit and grain bars with an applesauce just to have like a lot of fiber on their stomach and so that they can feel more full. Grabbed a box of Texas toast because I get tired of running to the store whenever I feel like we need some. Got the four pounds of ground beef. Barbecue sauce, we were running out. Tartar sauce, we're low on. Um, got our usual um, paletas, those are really good. And the box is only like four dollars. Got a box of goldfish. Again, another little simple meal for those um, soccer nights. Got fish fillets. Uh, these are just like grab and go. Got these Totino pits pizzas. Really been having, really have been enjoying those. Um, I got some dinner rolls. So as you can see, like I do plan on like making like real food. It's just. Soccer nights are hard. <laughs> got some celery, some carrots. I got these seasoning blends. They come with celery, yellow onion, bell peppers, um, and parsley flakes. Those are really good. And you only need like half a bag per meal. Picked up some more apples, grapes. We have some, um, we got strawberries. Got two things of unsweetened original almond milk. This I use for like cooking and stuff. And then we got vanilla almond milk. This we use for like cereal. Got some country style ribs. A pot or chuck roast. That way I can make pot roast. Um, we got some shredded steak and cheese rice chimichangas. Got some ice cream because like I said, we're really trying to cut back on eating out. So whenever you're trying to do that, that just means that your grocery bill is going to be a little bit higher. And I got tired of only eating ground beef, so I was like, you know what, let me throw, like, some ribs and stuff in there. Um, we needed, like, some sides, so I picked up some macaroni and cheese. Only Brian and the boys eat this. I try to stay away from the macaroni and cheese just because it'll make my stomach hurt. Golden potatoes for the pot roast. Got Brian these turkey sausage muffins. I did not know that great value had it one, and it made me so happy. Got some ranch because we are almost out again and I didn't want to run out this time and keep forgetting. We got four pounds of chicken breast. Needed that. Uh, some more of the kids snacks. Some graham crackers. These are for Ryan and I. Some Slim Jims. And then household items. I got two sponges. The boys ripped up one of mine so that's the only one I have left. And um, this one is only... Ew, why is that wet? So this one is just um, a scrub daddy purely, and I don't like the scrub daddies I have learned. I prefer the scrub mommies that have the sponge and the abrasive side. So we got that. Um, I was out of... Come on, camera, stop. Okay, I was out of it, gel, so I wanted to try this one because it is a hydrating gel, and so it says flexible hold, and... I wanted to try the can too because the Auntie Jackie's was $2, well almost $3 more than this, so I wanted to try that one. Um, OxyClean, we were running out low on dish soap, so I did go ahead and pick up this Ecos one. Got these, they were out of the Lysol click gel, so I just grabbed these. Now I'm going to have to train the boys to not mess with these. <laughs> and then wipes for our morning swish and swipes. And that is everything. They were out of the water that I wanted, and I just refuse. I refuse to pay seven dollars for a case of water when I could go to Sam's Club and get a pack of forty bottles of water for three dollars. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then they were out of the protein shake. So again, I'd rather go to Sam's Club 
and get a pack of twenty of eighteen for four, for eighteen bucks rather than eight for fourteen bucks. So that's what we're gonna do. So we do gotta make a Sam's Club trip today for water and protein shakes, and then I also need to buy um, hand soap and loofahs. So we, that will be on the agenda today after the. Um, what am I trying to say after the library? It's now been seven minutes, so let me go ahead and film this um, TikTok grocery haul. Yeah. 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 All right, you guys, we made it. Of course, we made it late. But I'm just, I'm just going to have to accept that we'll never be on time. Yeah, I, it. I got the groceries put up. I just didn't get to wash the produce like I always do, so I think I'll just wash that once I get back. I also got a mop the floors. Sadly, he soaked off into the moonlight. So, wash produce, mop floors, and none of us have eaten breakfast. It's But finding a shell was not as easy as it seemed. One was too bouncy. What's the shell? Um, a bouncy ball. A bouncy ball. One was too noisy. What's the shell? A clock. A clock. A clock. An alarm clock. One was already taken. What's the shell? An owl. Yeah. So while they listen to their story. I'm going to go ahead and do my read and write the word, my Bible study, and I'll probably record my daily devotional here at the library, hopefully. But, yeah, this is what I'm going to work on while they do their story time. I forgot my Bible in the car, so I have to use my phone Bible. White. Look for what? What? Is I put mine right here. Oh, right here. Uh -uh, right here. It's not pink. Yeah, that one is pink. P I N K. P. P I N K. P. Mm -hmm. And I'm this one. Please, please. Mm -hmm. I. I'm purple. I'm purple. Purple. Look for. P P. P. Put yes, good job, purple. purple right Can you get the green? Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, we are leaving. We are leaving the library, heading home. Gonna get the boys a quick snack. My mom is coming at about twelve thirty. King has speech therapy at. 12 so I really wanted to leave we're leaving the library right around the time that I wanted to because their little thing says that they could be at our house anywhere from 11:45 to 12:15. so I'm gonna head home because it's 11:45 now go ahead and get ready get the mop water ready mop the house and do that chore I was gonna do it tomorrow but since I have some time like I may as well go ahead and do it and so like I said about to head home unload all the books and everything like that I still need to record my daily devotional so I'm gonna do that first whenever we get home and then edit that and then mop the house hopefully so let's go home because I only have about an hour to get everything done all right you guys I'm gonna change my clothes for two reasons oh, I need to take this trash out so first I'm gonna take that trash out before I start mopping but it's that weird time of year where it's supposed to be almost 80 degrees today but right now it's still cold like my house isn't even going above 68 like what's going on here so the boys got their books I'm about to get them a little snacky snack real quick until we go eat because I need them to have something on their stomachs to hold them over so that way they're not bugging me talking about I'm hungry I'm hungry so let me do that. Crying, whole lot of telling me I should be.
Alright you guys, we are here at CC's to eat lunch. I finished mopping. I got the still haven't washed the produce. I did film my daily devotional. I'm gonna edit it while we're here eating. So we're about to go in here, have lunch, and then I have a doctor's appointment at 245. So I got about an hour to eat. How do I record? Oh did it. See, you do you lost count. <laughs> Can you try? See, you're blurry. Yeah, Mom. Mommy, everything's blurry. Want to see me? Okay. All right, you guys, I am here at the doctor's office. Um, my mom's going to hang out with the boys. Lunch ran a little bit longer and I didn't have time to like go all the way home and then come all the way over here. So, First of all, I don't even remember the name of the doc that I'm going to be seeing. So that's going to be fun, but I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, we just got home from soccer practice. So after I left the doctor, we went to Sam's Club to get like water and then I ended up picking up a couple of other things of course. I ended up getting my birth control out today because I'm really tired of feeling frustrated and angry all the time and I don't know what it's like to not have my hormones heightened because ever since I was pregnant with Ethan like I, like I've either been pregnant or have been on birth control and so I really wanted my body to just detox that and I want to start learning how to track my cycle manually and like know when I'm ovulating and stuff like that to prevent pregnancy and then also Brian and I do want to try for a little girl at some point but um, I just really want to get my body like detoxed and stuff like that but the cramps I am having from having my IUD removed are very similar to whenever I had it put in. The only difference is, is that I am not bleeding. And we had to leave soccer practice early. It's only seven, about 7.15. We usually don't get home till about 8. And I just couldn't. I was laying in the truck and I told Brian, I was like, can you can we just leave, please? I said, if not, I'm gonna just lay down in the back of the of the back of the truck. I say truck, but it's an SUV. I was like, I'm just going to lay down in the back. And he was like, no, we can leave. And 
got a headache, I'm nauseous, and so I am going to end this vlog here. You guys pray for me. Um, you know, just the whole process of detoxing my body. And I know somebody's going to be like, all oh, them groceries you bought. You know what? I'm I'm doing what I can. I am, I am eliminating things that are bad for me where I can because at the end of the day, my family still has to eat. And at the end of the day, I need to not kill myself to try to feed my family. So I will feed my family what I see fit. Yes, there was a lot of processed food, but 90% of the meals that they eat are not processed. I have the processed foods there for convenience. But yeah, I'm about to lay down. I love you guys. I always remember that Jesus loves you more. I'll see you guys next time. Happy Saturday, everyone. We are at the Braves game. They are out of line for having it at 9.30 in the morning. I am frustrated. I did not get my quiet time. Then Brian came home and started blaring music. And now I'm overstimulated for the day. So that's going to be fun trying to come out of. I'm not a people person. And people are standing close to me. But she said, hey, my eyes. But the game is starting now. It's Bryson right there. And then King is right behind this kid right here. So he's right there. It is cold today. It is 40 degrees out here. Go stop it, go stop it! Get it, Brad, Brad, go! Other way, Bryson! Turn around! Go, Brad, Brad! Oh, stop it, Bryson! Go, Bryson! Go get it! Get it, baby! Go get it, Bryson! Bri. Go! Bryson, eyes on the ball! Ethan finally got put in, so now I'm over here. King was so close on the last one. Uh, and I just know King and Bryson are going to score, so I'm over here watching Ethan, but that's okay. Ethan's right here. That's Ethan. The tallest kid on the field with the six and seven year olds. Actually, that girl's pretty tall. Come on, Ethan! Wrong way, wrong way! There we go. There you go. There you go, Lee. There you go, There you go, You got it. Let's go, Ethan. Get it, Ethan. Go stop it. Woo! Come on, Blue. Same team, guys. Oh, come on, Ethan. Take your partner! Oh, got it right there. Oh. <laughs> there you go, Ethan! Turn it around, come on! Let's go. Come on, Ethan. Come on. Come on, Blue! Hustle! Hustle! Oh! 
Grab Ethan, good hustle. Go back up your teammate, Ethan. There you go. There Come you on. Go. There you go. Woo! I thought he was about to do a cartwheel. <laughs> Hey guys, sorry about yesterday. I completely stopped vlogging because um, after the game, well, the game got intense yesterday at the boys' soccer game, and then we went home, and then I had a makeup job to do, well, and then I ended up having to do two women's. I was hired for one, and then there was another girl there that was like, hey, I don't have anyone to do my makeup. Do you mind doing mine? And I was like, yeah, sure. I, mean, I ain't got nothing but time. Always oh, time to make money, but... um. <laughs> Yeah, so we ended up doing that, chilling, and now we are here for lunch at Spinky's. We are downtown by the uh, college, by the college campus. So um, we're just gonna wait. For, we haven't, I haven't eaten here since I was a kid. Brian's never eaten here, so that's what we are doing here. We could do upstairs. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Pretty cool. Ooh. I see a car. A car. Oh, y'all want to sit? Buy a TV. <laughs> Hold on, we gotta find a TV. Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got the system, my favorite things. You could be the part where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it. Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe. Right All right, you guys. Bryson got chicken strips. Uh, I wish my camera would focus. I got a mushroom and Swiss chicken. Chicken sandwich. Chicken mushroom Swiss. Brian got this. I was going to get it. Now I'm like, man, I should have just got it. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe he'll give me a bite. <laughs> Kingy got a grilled cheese. Show him your sandwich. Mmm, and Ethan got an adult burger because he's seven now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're gonna enjoy our family time together. Oh, and I was coloring. We were all coloring. Right, see y'all in a bit.
to you guys. We are home after we washed and cleaned, detailed the car. We went to go hang out at my sister's house. Brian played some dominoes. We just talked. Probably going to hang out this Friday with them. Um, but now we're home. I'm cramping. I do not miss having real periods. When I had the marina, I would just spot for like two days and then it was done. But I did get really terrible back cramps when I had the marina. I don't. I'm not having really terrible cramps. They're painful, but they're not bringing me to tears like whenever I was on the marina and I would get those really, really bad back cramps. I'm about to change, change my, change and then change my, uh, into some more comfortable shorts and clothes and, I mean, I don't know how this gets more comfortable, but I am going to change. I always change after we've been out of the house and then come back home. Y'all know that. Y'all know that. We're probably just going to hang out until dinner time. I'm going to take off this jewelry. I feel like I'm suffocating. I think I have sensory issues. Like, I really do. Like, shirts, they can't come up too high on my neck or I feel like I'm being choked. Like, I change a million times a day because I always feel dirty the second we leave the house. Like, I really think I have sensory problems, but, I mean, I'm 30 years into them. I've just learned to live with them, but yeah. See you guys later.